So glaucoma is a potentially blinding eye condition where the eye pressures are usually very elevated and high. A lot of people will ask, hey, is there something that they can do naturally? Is there a lifestyle change or something they can do to reduce their eye pressures? So in this video, I'm gonna review a 2018 study that suggests that doing mindfulness meditation could lower eye pressure naturally and be used as an adjunct to glaucoma treatment. That's today's video, let's take a look. Hello and welcome, this is Dr. Allen here from the Dr. Eye Health Show, helping you learn all about the eyes, vision, finding the best vision products. And today, right now it's January, and January, believe it or not, is Glaucoma Awareness Month. So we wanted to do a special video highlighting glaucoma and helping you out. Now, if you're not entirely sure what glaucoma is, glaucoma is an eye disease where the optic nerve on the back of the eye starts to die very slowly. Usually the most common type of glaucoma that is diagnosed and managed in the eye clinic is what's called primary open angle glaucoma and is usually associated with elevated eye pressure. And in the eye clinic, we call that the IOP, standing for intraocular pressure. This is caused by a formation of a fluid inside the eye called the aqueous humor, that this new humor is developed inside of the eye and it also drains out of the eye. And if for some reason there's an imbalance between how it's produced and how it drains, that can cause the pressure to go really high. And ultimately that pressure can push on the nerve in the back and that's what kills the nerve. And tragically for a lot of people, you don't notice glaucoma happening. It's something that develops so slowly that you don't know until it's very just really too late. It's kind of the silent killer of eye diseases. You don't notice anything until basically you're kind of going blind. And that's exactly why it's so important to get your eye pressures checked. And that's why checking the eye pressures is basically part of every standard eye examination. Now, the study I wanted to share with you today was a 2018 study that was published in the Journal of Glaucoma. And they had a group of 90 individuals who were already being treated for glaucoma. They were using eye drops to lower their eye pressures. They took those 90 individuals and bisected them into two different groups. The first group was just the control group. They just said, hey, keep taking your medications. Uh, we're just gonna check on your eye pressures all the time. And then we're going to measure your stress levels, your stress hormones, as well as just taking uh, a survey of their quality of life. Then they had another group this group, they said, not only do we want you to keep taking your medications, but we want you to do mindfulness meditation with a guide, with a certified guide for meditation for one hour a day for three weeks. And again, they checked everybody's eye pressures, they checked their levels of stress hormones, as well as did a survey for quality of life. After three weeks, they then looked at the data and they found that the people who were doing the mindfulness meditation not only had lower eye pressures, but their quality of life measurements and their overall stress levels were way lower. Now, what's really significant was that not only was their pressure lower in general, but 75% of the participants who did the meditation, their eye pressure was lowered by 25%, which is very significant considering most medications and treatments for glaucoma are considered very good when it's over about 20 to 25% of a reduction. That is really significant and pretty impactful as an eye care provider. And then of course, just to note, the control group, really nothing ever changed. And so what I think is really cool is that that tells us that yes, our stress and our daily activities, uh, kind of things that you're doing does impact our eye pressures. Now they're not entirely sure how stress is causing problems with eye pressure and causing eye pressure to go up, but they know at least that there is some sort of play there with your stress hormones. So I think if there's anything you can be doing, if you're somebody who suffers from glaucoma, if you have a family member or anybody who has elevated eye pressures, talking to them about stress and ways to deal with stress, looking into things like meditation may be a great solution to help lower their eye pressures naturally. And overall, I think all of us know that stress can affect many things of our health and our well-being. So definitely uh, try to find more ways here in 2021 to help relax and chill out a little bit. Now, personally, myself, I am trying to do a lot more things like meditation. Honestly, if you've never tried it before, it can be a little difficult, 
at first. So uh, starting off with just pushing yourself to meditate for like 10 minutes and then maybe to 15 and then maybe a little bit longer. You might have to start off slow just like I have, but I, it's something that I think if you keep at, you will get better at uh, and overall you may find better sort of benefits from it. I know there's several apps out there for meditation. There's also a lot of free meditation guides uh, that are available here on YouTube. And I'll, I'll link a couple of the ones that I've tried down below if you want to check those out if you've never done meditation before. But it's all certainly something I think you could explore. Now, of course, a really big disclaimer here is that in this study, these patients were still taking medications to lower their eye pressures. And that's an important thing. If you're using medications for glaucoma, if you're being treated at all, you definitely keep taking your medications. I'm not telling you to stop those. It's important that you keep taking your medications, but follow up with your doctor, ask them what you think, uh, what they think about meditation and other lifestyle changes that could help lower your eye pressures. And again, it's just important to keep taking those medications, but certainly think about doing something that's gonna lower your stress levels. So eye health question of the day for you is, do you practice meditation? How long have you been doing it? Uh, have you had any success with it? I know some people, other doctors who've tried it and they really struggled with it. Myself, I've been on and off doing meditation since college, but it's something that I personally do enjoy. Again, I struggle with it a little bit, but it's something I have to continually practice on. Definitely let us know if you've had any success with it. Have you used apps or are you just doing it on your own? Drop those comments in the section below. I'd love to hear from you. Otherwise, since it is Glaucoma Awareness Month, if you need to learn a little bit more about glaucoma, you're not exactly how, how it affects the eyes, if you're not sure what type of glaucomas are out there, or if you wanna learn how we test for glaucoma in an eye clinic, I have a whole series about glaucoma and you can learn about that by checking the links I'll include it down in the description below, but I'll also tag it up here. If you want to just click or tap the screen right here to the side, uh, that'll take you over right over to that video series. If you otherwise want to learn other cool things from the Dr. Eye Health Show, go ahead and click or tap the screen down over here. Thank you so much for watching. Keep an eye on it, and we'll talk to you soon.